Hey, hey, hey. Kate here. How you doing? Hope your Friday is awesome. Just wanted to give a quick video about our topic this week, and I also have some other things I wanted to talk about. Uh, I just spent the last 10 minutes trying to find the best sound and light in my house, because it's storming right now, and it, it's really not happening. So, coincidentally, the best sound and light in the house is in the closet. So take that for what you will. This week we're talking about politics. I don't know if you've been keeping up with the DNC, the RNC, the conferences, the debates, uh, the, the political mudslinging, if you will, that's been happening all year. I'm sure you haven't avoided it unless you live under a rock. But um, we're, we're talking about it. I was always told as a kid not to bring three things to the dinner table, conversations about religion, politics, or money. Um, it was supposedly uncouth. But here at the Beaver Bunch, we talk about whatever. No holds barred. And I think that's really important. I think it's important for the younger generations, um, mine included, to feel like they can express their opinion, um, especially in a political arena. I think that we're gearing up towards that. I think that the candidates are, are really kind of taking us seriously, and, and um, especially with the MTV's Rock the Vote that's you know been popular over the last decade or so. Um, so, yeah, politics are important. And, and listening and, and being informed is crucial to the changes that are going to be made in our community and in the general public. You know, um, women's rights have, have been a huge issue lately and, and continue to be a huge issue in regards to, you know, contraceptives and abortions and other women's bodies rights and I think those are things that you need to be educated on to even begin to have an opinion and to have that conversation so um, it's really really cool for me to see leaders that we fought to put in power care about the things that we live through every day you know like they're talking about us they're fighting for our rights that's a big deal if you don't follow politics, if you feel like it's a lot of mudslinging, I totally get it. I get it if you go to listen to the conference, you listen to it for about five minutes, and then you have tired heads, so you have to go get a drink to even get through the rest of it. I totally get that, too. I feel like sometimes it's way too formal. There's a lot of processes and government mumbo-jumbo that kind of you know muddies the whole process. Um, so... You're not alone there, but um, your voice is important and your vote's important, just like how you spend your money is. You know, you can make a huge impact with changing how you spend your dollar. And I feel like a lot of people maybe don't know that, don't realize it, or don't care to realize it. So politics are important, regardless of who you're voting for. That's really not what this week is about. So um, I would like to hear uh, from you guys about how politics affects your life. Are you into it? Or are you not into it? Um, if, if you're not into it, what, how could you be into it? Is there a way that you feel like politics could change, um, to get you involved? I think that a lot of people feel like it's maybe a lesser of two evils. And so that's why they don't get involved, but it, it's a hard job regardless. You know, I, I wouldn't want that job. There's way too many people to try to please. So, um, yeah, that's our topic. Uh, let's see. Big news on the front. I, I am still moving to New York. I'm headed to the Southern Comfort Conference in Atlanta, Hot Atlanta, um, on the 18th. It's a, a gender a trans conference. Uh, if you've never heard of it, you should Google it. Just Google Southern Comfort Conference. It's been going around for years, and it's a huge event, actually. So everyone is welcome, partners, trans people alike, um, gender nonconforming people. Just, it runs the gamut of people that can attend these conferences. So... Um, check it out if you'd like. If you're going to be there, feel free to say hello. I will be there. I'd love to hug your face. And yeah, and then I'll be on a one-way flight to New York. I am super thrilled and really anxious all at the same time. So if you know anyone in New York, if you're in New York, give me a shout. I'd love to say hello. Um, I have a little bit of a tight-knit community here in Dallas. Um, I know the area really well. I know the gay scene really well. It's rather small. So I feel really comfortable here. Um, and I'd really, really like to have that in New York as well. 
So if you know of any um, trans resources or trans groups, trans guy groups, I'd love to hear about them from you. So I can always learn just as much as I give you guys advice. I'd love to hear it from you. So uh, the last topic on the agenda tonight before I ramble on forever is merch. Uh, if you check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash beaverbunch, we have talked about merch for the last couple days now and we got a, a really good feedback on people being interested in merchandise and uh, I just think it's a really cool idea to be able to spot a fellow beave uh, from you know way across the room or across the mall or you know somewhere random at a bar or whatever I think it would be really cool to to be able to be like oh you're in on it that's awesome so if that's something you guys are into, we actually have partnered with a great company, District Lines. They do a lot of YouTube work. A lot of other um, smaller companies or bands um, have their merch on that website. So check us out at districtlines.com slash beaverbunch. We put a, a few t-shirt options up there. It's uh, some that I really like and I think that are, that are kind of funny and I'm probably going to rep. Um, if you'd like to see something different, give us a shout. Tell us what you'd like to see, what you want to wear, what you want to rep, and maybe we can get that happening for you. So I hope that you guys have a fabulous weekend, and I hope that the weather cools off enough to actually let me wear my winter clothes. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.